In chapter 14, you learn about cascading style sheets, or CSS, and you modify some of the CSS code that is used to affect the display of your web page. Um, now, the web page, of course, is based on a template, and so you're basically modifying some of the CSS code that's included in the template. Um, my opinion is it's, it's actually easier to modify code, just to go to the code and change, for instance, an extension from uh, ping to JPEG or whatever. Um, but I know for some people that can be a little overwhelming and um, nerve-wracking. So I wanted to just show how to do that using the Dreamweaver panels. Um, here you can see my CSS style panel is open. Um, if you don't see yours, you can always go under Window and open the CSS Styles panel in Dreamweaver. Sometimes it's open, but it's just hard to locate it because there's a lot going on on the page. Um, and I've collapsed style.css, which is a lengthy list of all of my styles. You might have in any Dreamweaver document um, a rule called styles.css, and you might have another you know, rule or a couple of other ones that are listed here. Um, this is going to be the entire set. Um, that is included in my external style sheet, style, in this case called style.css. Sometimes when the CSS styles panel um, comes up, it is set to current, which can be a little annoying because it kind of throws you off a little bit. Um, and this is just showing which style is being applied to whatever's currently selective, uh, selected in Dreamweaver. So, um, remember that you want to see all of your styles, and you can expand the style that CSS menu, and you'll see every style or every rule that's being listed um, in your document. So, for instance, page home is a style that we duplicated in the code and then modified. So, I could click once on the page home class, and then to duplicate it, I would use the menu from the top right corner and say duplicate or choose duplicate. Um, I would give it whatever name I wanted to give it and press OK. And then I could double click the duplicate, for instance, and go to the background and modify the background image. So in our exercise, we changed the, the extension of the background and we did that in the code, but I could do that here to ping or to GIF. And I could press OK. Um, and then I would just have to make sure that I used whatever my copy was in my HTML code. So I'd have to make sure that I would find wherever I referenced that page home um, in my code and change it to page home copy or whatever I was going to call it. Um, so these panels are actually really simple to use because when you double click them you get the rule definition dialog box and you can click through the categories and see all of the different definitions that are applied. Um, and in this case it's just it's really just the background that, that we were dealing with. Um, but you just have to sort of know where they are, you know, where this is located, and then how this relates to the rest of the document. I feel like it's better for students or new people to learn it just by looking in your style sheet. Um, it's, it's kind of better for, I think, if you're, if you're new to see the code and to understand the code. And then, um, you know, using this as sort of a shortcut makes a lot of sense.